start on yet. Going for a very deep peek, and he's going to get caught off guard, but the Guiding Light is going to save him quite a bit as something going for the peek through the revolving door, the trade from RB Sheriff. But both teams locked into this fight for much longer than they had bargained for. The Frenzy could still do a lot of damage. Everyone chipped so low on the side of DRX. Oh, I didn't realize DRX was buying into the APAC ranked games here like we saw <laughs> previously with Paper Rex and Full Sense just sending it down mid. Ah, but yeah, yeah, Paper X, they're able to get some pretty serious damage onto RB. He was on a 1 HP. Just gotta spam through and get a lucky shot. So One enemy freak. remaining. Wow! What? Wow! Mind Freak from above! The Paranoia only able to cover Baby Door, and it's going to be an excellent double kill for Mind Freak to help hold things down, giving pistol round win to Paper Rex. Classics, one shorty, one ghost, and they're just gonna run it down into B. They'll escape the wrath of the Marshal, but the Bulldog will get the spots from. The Cypher as Mind Freak goes for the double. Still some damage done, but they can't just get their bearings as Paper Rex will clean house once again. I'm trying his best to open things up and Stax will make sure he covers the side. A nice slide by from Buzz as he's now able to enter the site and divide down to five HP. Goes down and Forsaken, his location spotted. Oh, but he gets a nice headshot on Buzz. Spike planted. That's top, man. Forsaken is the plan now. Opens the door again, maybe makes him consider that he's rotated around through B, back through the waterfall, but it's gotta be a save, right? I I assume he's gonna, yeah, try yeah. to keep the gun. He bought up this round, yeah. which I was a little surprised about. You know, oftentimes we like to see him kind of greed for the Odin, or at least save up to it on this map on defense. Oh, but now that or he bought down to 900 credits, just says, I'll wait here. He did use a revolving door earlier, right? So like you said, he plants it in there that he could have just entirely left, and he's hoping for one or two exit frags, DRX, are they aware of this possibility? It looks like that they're coming with that double angle. He wants to get the early peek out and the spray down. Can he get the ace? It's going to be the Forsaken ace. No. Not yet. This time working off the guiding light is able to stabilize, goes for the double off the paint shells as well. Keeps DRX cornered at the entrance. Just great combination. A little bit disjointed in the previous round. Monyet's help got cut off by a nano storm from DRX. This time they're playing a little bit further back, waiting for the contact before they send through flashes, the paranoias, the paint shells. There you go. That's some easy pickups for Paper Rex. Not any damage taken. Literally zero from Paper Rex. Yeah, just continue to spam there for the revolving door as well. You stepped in trap wire. It'd be the cameras online as well. Paint shells refreshed off with a double kill. If Devai spots, this is gonna be more kills for Monyet. Devai actually is picking one up for himself, and Devai continuing to go for the double team as Paper X shuts down C site, leading three to one. Kind of spreading the map a little bit more this time around to DRX. Doesn't matter. Uh, Zest pays the price for trying. Yeah, something just actually walks right through the top screen, it looks like. Monyet also ready for the aggression on B, and they just swing around. Mind Freaks back on top form as well. Put him on the omen, leave him on the smokes, because that's when he frags out to his heart's content. But yet with another kill. Getting on 6,900 in the back of it. Another flawless for them. I'm just reading these positions so well. Nice little adjustment there from Mind Freak. Find the second. And there you go. On yet, yeah, he takes a headshot, doesn't matter. He's got the far superior. Having the extra credits, he will just invest into this race, play to that advantage. Trailblazer spots him. Oh, he can't get the kill as something comes around swinging for support. Something with the double, they're trying to chase down both members. Mind Freak's still very low. The Seekers will locate him, however, the revolving door. They don't know how many members are peeking out of that one. And already, look at Monyet. He's so fast on this rotate. They have no idea the double headshots. And it's just Mako all alone. Stuck in Evan, he gets one. He needs to swing around, he doesn't have much time, and the guiding light, Paper Rex, continues to lead. Yeah, this is just great teamwork now. You know, something quick to bail out uh, Mind Freak. Mind Freak was down to 6 HP, so that yeah. judge, maybe the nerf coming into play a little bit Ooh, there. Oh, yeah, uh, good, good point. Yeah, but um, I, I, I don't mind that from Derek, that they want to go for those judges in rounds like that, because in theory, maybe, like it opens you up, not only do you save a little bit of extra economy, but potentially if you win those rounds, like it opens you up for maybe you want to grab an Odin, maybe you want to grab an Op and try something a little bit different. 
uh, you can squeeze out that extra castle. I mean, I like the idea. I'm all for it. It yeah. also conditions them that you could be that aggressive. Something gets pushed out, but there's a lot more remaining here for Paper X. Four members, in fact, all around both doors, and Monyet blasts forward with Dubai. The bolt get taken down, One and now it's remaining. just after to Mind Freak, who's able to hold the fort, and it's something covering his teammates back. It's up to RB. He needs to make something happen from the other side. Breaks the trap wire and a nice blast back in from Buzz. RB with the pinch as well. Something just clearing out. What a bold move. Trapping their opponents in the sight. Oh. Stacks finds Devi. You should run. Stabilizes things just a bit. Buys time for the lockdown. Mind Freak? Moving forward. Goes for the gamble. Not aware that there's more members. Tries to shadow step out. Oh, and the lineup for something. Ah, oh. like, just knows he's over, right? Can't find a way out of it. RB peeks back out for the kill. Man. Yeah, squeezes it out, and Stacks now aware of the aggression. So DRX changing their game plan once again. The double trap wires. It's only going to find one, but that's enough time for Buzz to locate where the shot's coming from. Already having flown through the site, Mind Freak. His teammates are nearby, but not close enough. Smoke clears. Mind Freak gets one kill, and the Guiding Light is trying one to buy enough time, but Defia Manyet with the aggressive showstopper instantly stops DRX in their tracks. It's a little fast push from both sides. Plus, barely creeps by behind the box. Oh, we're not just setting it down mid this time, guys? No, uh, Paper X Boo. is like, oh, well, if you pull a Paper X, we will pull a DRX. <laughs> RB, nice scratch onto something. Ooh, Eventually, we'll find destroyed. a target, a different one. So that's a little extra damage done. Something will get healed up by Divide, but that's still yeah. a lot more time spent. DRX has already pitched the site. This is this is gonna take some pretty nifty shooting from Paper X to get out of this. Yeah, but stairs Seriously. left empty. DRX have to remember this. As RB goes for the jump down with the sheriff. Will eventually find one kill. Opens up an angle for the rest of his teammates. It's all down to Divai. He gets spotted and Buzz will peek right back out. Catching up to six. A big round of applause is coming out of the audience after that one. A lot of DRX and Paper X fans uh, showing up today. Uh, by the way, to any fans who came out here and are sitting through all three best of threes, you are heroes. You are absolute heroes. I do see like four or five that I that you recognize, recognize from the beginning of the yeah. day. It's, it's very impressive. Uh, yeah. So long domestically and then once all that tape goes out to the world, they get caught something just with a nice shot. Holding that angle, Magnet on the other side. And this is what you can do with that double duelist composition. Aggression on both sides, something just drawing so much aggro. Eventually, RB finds one, but he's stuck here. Can't clear the entire squad. And now a 3v1 against Mako. Mako will gamble. He'll choose the correct site. Cover going out. He still needs to get all three. Phantom in hand. Spike dropped. He hears, he hears it. The loser activated. Pounce. Spike planted. Knows where it's at. Gets one. one Gets the second. Ready. Five HP. Mako baits him out. Knows oh, Devi's oh, oh, location. Oh, oh. Waiting for him to aggress. And he tries to swing out. But Devi was already close and on top. Oh. Ah, oh, it's so close, man. I mean, what a whoa, what a shot from something. Oh, that is through. that is bonkers, dude. Something really coming back online. Not yet, also with the confidence. Here's some comms trying to help out Mako. Being so cautious, not leaving anything to chance. And I'd like to see Stacks pump the brakes here. Don't give up anything for free. You know, obviously, if you get a free kill, you take it, but no reason to get overly aggressive just yet. Wait for the rest of the reinforcements to show up, but. Looks like the back angle potentially decently covered here by Mind Freak. There we go. Now they're ready. Now Mind Freak will get paranoia, but that gives a signal for everyone to swing back out together. Two kills. Now that's the cue for Stacks to try to find an opening, but Magnet still had his eyes trained up top. Meanwhile, at Rubble, Mako finds one, but Divide continues to reign supreme alongside Mind Freak as Paper Rex are now three points away from picking the map. Might as well just send it. Oh, RB not able to get that kill. Showstopper, Magnet has to break oh. a little bit and he lands on the snake bite on top of the Nano Swarm as well. Too much damage, too much time taken. Eventually RB goes down, the Neural Deaths just to get an idea. They'll see that everyone is here for DRX. 
but that doesn't mean they have any better clue. Okay, Mind Freak will secure a little bit of extra space, but he hears Mako, and Mako has no idea He's where the it. landing has happened. Ace site continues to be open for free. Oh, unbelievable. I, I, DRX reads the landing spot of yet so well. They've got a trap set up for him. Oh, Zest from the backside, good against Mind Freak. A nice peek out, but here comes Buzz as well. I mean, with that kill, they have no idea where Buzz might be coming from. You can see something, he's fishing for it. They just call for a double up here, try to help each other out. Here's the showstopper, Divine wants the kill. Do they suspect something oh. with the double? They had no idea. A little bit of stability now with Rubble Control. Killjoy Utility on C, DRX all eyes on to B. They still have the Lockdown and the Seekers to try to claw their way back in. Uh, this has just been no breaks. Paper X is attacking side, clearing it out, popping the dash, getting ready to go in, up and over. Nano's not a problem in Mon yet. This says goodbye to RB. And that's the lockdown gone once again. Can't be used. The Seeker's just going to file through. Stax will find a kill off of it, but he'll get traded immediately. And the information, just the obvious on both sides. And Forsaken swings off of his own intel. The jump peak, Mon yet spots Mako. Just wants to buy time. Gives him a little opening to push out. This is left to Mon Yet. Battle remaining. Mako and hides right by him under that little nook. It's just like so interesting. The confidence feels just completely different for both teams in a way, but especially for Paper X. Forsaken finds the final kill to put him on map point here. 12 7 for Paper X. Talking about, oh, you know, who knows? Mon Yet might be good, but maybe he's just not up to the speed of Paper X. Maybe he can't keep up. I mean, if anything, he's kind of overheating at times right now. Right. I think he's fitting right back in yeah. to this squad once he's allowed to play that race. Yeah, I agree with you. I, I, I mean, but finding some good angles now and starting to kind of gel right now. As we're seeing with the judge, just like that, gets the kill upgrade. So right with the boom box, gives him information, not able to defend himself. But with all of that, something now drawing the aggro here on C, the guiding light. Keeps him tied, but so do the nano swarms. Forsaken, not quick enough. Now just two members, now Mind Freak on the other side of the map. Oh, Divai. That boom bot doesn't come out. I think he might have Buzz dead to rights, but Buzz wisely using it ending. and getting the kill as well. Spike down, C. And poor Mind Freak, a, a great lurk if the CBs have been alive, but unfortunately, GRX just too quick on the defense that they only have to hold one angle here. I mean, Mind Freak's been, been crispy. See, he's got something special in store. I kind of doubt it with this double angle being held I mean, by Buzz and Stax. Yeah, but if I'm Mind Freak, you got to consider it's just sending your abilities going for kills, right? I mean, GRX are so low on creds. No. And maybe you get two, maybe at least a three. Left. Mind Freak, 1v1, Omen v Omen. And it's going to be Mind Freak on top tonight as he brings the first map win. Ow, 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 